My dear friends, we continue to talk about false worship. It's very important to understand that there's a way to worship as the, the, defined by God himself as, as a way that men proposes, like the Catholic Church proposes and many others against the conscience of mankind. Mankind is free to worship. God give us the freedom of choice to worship him the way he wants us to worship him. And so it's very important to understand don't let anybody allow don't allow anybody to make you feel comfortable that as long as you worship it doesn't matter how you worship as long as you worship that's of the devil that's a deception friend to get you to lose your your soul salvation because Jesus clearly defines in Matthew chapter in St John chapter 4 when speaking to the woman of Samaria that God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth John chapter 4 verse 24 and you read a little further back where Jesus tell them that you, you worship you know not what but salvation is of the Jews right and so God needs us to worship him in spirit and in truth and worship is the cause of where we are today for in, in heaven where Satan uh, wanted worship when he tried to um, um, impose his way his way into in, in on the angels by by try by committing Christ wanted to be worshipped so he committed Christ and then um and 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 then deceived the angels into thinking that what he was doing was right <coughs> and ever since then that's where we find ourselves now in the problem with 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 with, with, with the devil because of 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 um of 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 false worship and since uh righteous Abel worshiped God in spirit and in truth and his bro his brother um Cain hated him because his worship wasn't accepted from then the righteous began to be persecuted by those by the false worshippers we find it in Ezekiel chapter twenty eight where where the discourse where God described Satan how he was you know Ezekiel 28 verse verse 12 says thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect in beauty that's how Satan was described when he was Lucifer thou hast been in Eden the garden of God every precious stone was thy covering and it goes on to to, to describe him he says the workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in the in the day that thou was created. Satan was a creature. God created him. Thou art the anointed cherub that covered, and I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God, that thou walks walkest up and down in the midst of the stone of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. And then the Bible goes on to say, By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Right? Verse 17 says, Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 17, Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty, and thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground, I will lay thee before kings, that they may behold thee. Verse 18 says, Thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thine iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee. The fire that shall destroy Satan shall come from his God. God is going to open up a volcano, volcano, vol volcano in the gut of the devil to destroy him. And I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. Because he wanted to be worshipped, he coveted Christ. All of Ezekiel 28 tells you about that, right? And so he brought that ugly scenario to the earth and thereby deceived Eve in Genesis chapter 3 when he told her that um, thou shalt not surely die. Just go, what, go against what God says and because you shall be all right. Genesis chapter 3 verse 4. When the devil said to Eve, thou ye shall not surely die. And people are still telling people today, violate God's commandment nothing will happen it's okay it's just a little thing violate God's commandment but in first John chapter 3 and verse 4 I think 
uh, it tells you that um, sin is a transgression of God's law. And therefore, whoever God says, the soul that, the soul that sinned, it shall surely die. It shall surely die. Right? First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of God's law. So the fourth commandment is the one over which the great controversy, controversy rages throughout all Christendom. Because Satan brought in this false day of worship to supplant God's true holy Sabbath day that God created from we see here in um, Genesis chapter 2. And God repeated over and over in Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8 to 11. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And so many, that's just the beginning. And all these were brought in by pagan Rome into the Christian church under Constantine when he claimed that he was converted. After hundreds of years of persecution and martyrdom of the Christians because of false worship. Then he said he can't beat them so he's going to join them. And many people were caught off guard by this spurious uh, first Pope of Rome, Constantine. Because he claimed that now he was converted, so he subtly brought in false worship, this false death worship, sun worship, to supplant God's worship. And about a hundred million people have been martyred, murdered by false worshippers, and who were forced under the dictate of Rome between 538 AD and 1798. 1260 years of papal persecution in, the, in Europe. O over a million people were, were, were killed, burnt alive, cast to wild animals, buried alive, burnt at the stake, sound of thunder, every kind of evil Satan devised against God's people who worship him in spirit and in truth. It started in the uh, brother against brother, as I told you, in Genesis chapter 4, when righteous Abel was slew by Cain because of false worship. God could not accept false worship then. God have never accepted less than his standard, and he'll never do it. In Revelation chapter 7, we find verse 9 to 10, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God, and for the testimony which they held. This was the martyrs of persecution. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little while until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Martyrdom. We don't know why, but God knows why. And God worked in a mysterious ways, his wonders to perform, friend. False worship, false system of worship. Don't be consul consolated falsely that you can worship God how you choose. No, God says those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Right? In Matthew chapter 15, God goes back and he tells us again, Jesus himself declared, Matthew 15, verse 9, But in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandment of men. Right? Teaching for doctrine the commandment of men. In vain do they worship me. And it is serious. That's why in Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, listen to what Jesus says over here about worship. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, he says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Only those who would worship God and do according to God's will. Right? Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that worketh, iniquity law friend it is important for us to know truth and to walk by truth to live by truth and to die for the truth have faith in god dear friend have faith in god get to worship god know god and worship him in spirit and in truth god bless you make sure your worship is acceptable of god